Stop. I stop. A little short. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, that doesn't matter. You know, when you talk about chinkuts and you're stopping your key and everything else a lot, you move too. All right. That's just locking it. I, I know some people did the bow when they hit the bow on their sides. They hit yeah. the bow here in Okinawa. It's really. When you're first learning, it's the same thing. The more noise you make, it's probably better than copper. But that doesn't show chinkuts. Yeah. Or when you stop, when you stop and you, and you yeah. make your block. See, most people say in Naihanshi, you're fighting this way. Your attack comes here. Your block takes here. This is your block. This is your finish. Behind, too. And the same. Uh, lock in your b lower body. Your waist and your hips. Your stomach has to be relaxed. I had Yogi Miyura work with me this, and he used to laugh at me because, because my hips would turn. I could say, why, why, why? Until Sensei came out and said, you draw up. You don't tighten your stomach, you tighten your hips. The waist has to be relaxed, but this has to be tight. So there's a, there's a lot in kata, you know? And, and people say, well, I know 20 katas. If you do one correct, then you're very good. And if you do one correct, then, it, then, then you study part. Well, the way down, I do almost basically the same as moving from this way. All right, but since they went, most people when they came to Okinawa, they trained for 13 months and they were gone. And, and all we had to do was just teach them to go in and go out. <coughs> so, and there's a lot of things that he taught them, like um, it was for training purposes. All right, because of using the waste, which Americans wouldn't understand in 13 months. Karate is a lifetime training, and a lot of these people should have been back there training a long time ago, and not just going for 13 months and coming back. And then, and then they began coming back here, teaching what they learned in 13 months. In Okinawa, you'd probably be a white belt in 13 months, so it's like having a white belt coming back here. If I hurt anybody's feelings, I'm sorry, but it's like having a white belt come back here and begin teaching people. And that's why I decided to go back. I said, why? I mean, everybody learns the same thing. And I saw Ishindu back in America. I said, this is not karate. I saw it in Okinawa, and I, I trained with Okinawan people, and it's a lot different. So going back to this one, right? A lot of times, he wants you to change and loosen that hip up because you're going that way. Goju does the same thing. But once you understand about everything, the same technique is right there, and that you're moving from right into here. But this was part of training. A lot of things those sensei did was training for people. He teaches you to stand in Sanchin like this. He teaches you to stand in Naihanchi like this. If you watch Motobu when he does Naihanchi, what is it, this way? But, but that training was teaching you something. And, all, and, and ways of training back then taught you something. It was, if you trained that way, I saw, I saw people train in Seisan in Sun Chin, Sensei Bremer. That's all he did. But when he came and Sensei Shimabuko saw where he was because he trained Seisan in Sun Chin. Whenever he did Seisan Kata, he did it like this. But he, for years and years of doing it, when he came to Okinawa, his stance was there, his, his tightness, and no Sensei can see that, and it was very easy. But there's ways of training that was to benefit people. Goju teaches it this way, which is practical right here from moving here and moving from your waist, keeping this tight, keeping this tight. Um, this is one of the basic reasons why I believe that everybody goes this way, but it, it teaches you to begin to train. It's all training. Everything that you did is training. It goes back. Maybe that answered it.